Look at the size of that. That's an absolute beast. Coming right up to my Whoa. Oh! My name's Jack Randall, and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. They're not seeing me as a threat. Spinning cobra! Hello. Absolutely gorgeous. Going about their business. Yes. Come on, let's go. Oh, wow. These are really quite a common species. Just crossing the road. They love, actually, when it gets this kind of heat, they start moving. This is about mid-aged. They get much bigger, but this is about middle size compared to the baby we saw the other day. There's not many other places in the world where you'll see tortoises at the kind of density that we've got in Africa. There's more species of tortoise in Africa than any other continent on the planet, land tortoise, and the density of them is actually quite incredible. You think, how can this land support so many tortoises? But the thing is, they're grazers. They just literally are grazing all of the vegetation around. So there's lots of food and they can withstand very little rain so they're perfectly adapted for this environment where for eight nine ten months of the year there's absolutely zero rain the tortoise is going on from one side of the road to the other we're going to say goodbye to you and carry on our adventure right let's go and see if we can find the puff at it i'm heading down to a spot known for a very high density of puff adders it's got great habitat for them and their prey semi-open plains with thick grasses and bushes and that's perfect. These long grasses, I'm going to walk very slowly and just use my snake hook, brush it along just ahead of me because these snakes, they are like landmines. They sit very still. They're not going to be moving very quickly. fashion like a caterpillar which is really quite bizarre so I'm just looking for tiny bits of movement or one that's just slayed completely still check this out so we've got here a track that's a puff adder you can see it's kind of a very very faint but quite wide track just going straight straight forward I reckon he's Wow, okay, that's a good sign. So we've got food for the puff adders. These ones are hopping around in the morning looking for little insects. The puff adder would gobble these up very easily, probably every day if one would come by. You see this toad hopping around while the puff adder will be sitting there just waiting very silently, completely still, completely camouflaged. There's no way this toad would know that there's potentially a predator just around the corner. Right, I'm going to set you free. Good luck. Don't get eaten by the puff adder. Puff adder! Whoa! Okay, there you go. Wow, that's exactly what we've been going for. Woo! That is intimidating. Look at the size of that. That's an absolute beast. I'm going to need my bigger snake hook here. This is the shore. You have to be extremely careful with these snakes because they have explosive lunges. Their strikes, if they feel under threat, is unbelievable. I've seen puff adders literally jump up in the air and strike at the same time. It's probably one of the only snakes that can actually strike more than its body length because it has that lunge. So what I'm going to do is just get him out. Do not be deceived by the speed of the snake because they can actually go very, very fast. Okay, I, I, this is just really scary. Okay, we're going out into the open. Oh, that's why they call him a puff adder. Okay, now he's grumpy. Okay, we really have to be careful because the speed of a puff adder 
when they're like this, it's incredible. And then they S up in a position. Okay, he's starting to warm up and he's aware that he's now been found. Wow! Okay, that's the S position. That's the S position. They can get up like that. And, oh, this is an adrenaline rush, I tell you. Look at that, getting right up to this puff ladder. Coming right up to my leg. Whoa, do you know it? Oh! Do you see that? Oh! Do you see that? Wow, okay. I got a little bit too close and he struck out. Whew. That's for caterpillar fashion. You see the way those ventral scales are moving backwards and forwards. And it's just a very, very slow moving snake when it's like this. But when he feels under threat, wants to get away, boom, really quick. Something that, it's a misconception that puff adders are slow. They are fast. Well, interesting what they do, the male, they're actually releasing a pheromone as they're moving across the landscape in order to attract the female to come along. This is the breeding season during the rains. Puff adders will be breeding as much as possible. So I'm just going to grab the GoPro so you can see what it's like to be face to face with a puff adder. Yes, one of the most feared snakes out here in Africa. Thing about Africa, you just got animals everywhere. Puff adder. Yes. 